Last time we talked about how Google scripts and macros are really good ways to find efficiency and save time and save brain power when working on Google Suite, but especially Google Sheets. So when you do create those scripts or create those macros, how do you run them? Usually with some kind of button or with the menu up here. You can see you can have just normal looking buttons. You can make an image a button or you can make menu items up here into how you'd run the script with buttons. So let's say you want to do a normal looking button. Pretty straightforward, insert drawing, shapes, shapes, button shape, create your button. Usually I'll change the background and the border to be the same color. I then double click on it. I start typing my button. I then highlight that text. Let's say we want to make it Roboto bold. Maybe we'll make it white. Maybe we'll make it a little bigger. Probably center it. That's it. Save and close. Goes to the sheet. You can then click and drag it wherever you want to put it. Change the size. And when you're ready, you'll click these three dots right here and you'll assign a script to it. So if you look at this one, if you, so if I click this button with a regular mouse, it would run a script. But if I two finger click or command click, these dots come up. Then I can edit the button, go back to the editor. I can delete the button or I can assign a script. You'll see this one already has sort by date. So when I click the button, that's what runs. And you can also, as I mentioned, do images. So if you wanted to do a funny image or a useful image, you can insert an image over the cells. You can grab it from your desktop or from the internet, whatever image you want. And there it is. So I can make this giant ridiculous image. Obviously I can do all sorts of things with it, but one thing I can do is assign a script. So both of those are good ways to do it. And if you do want to, you'll see, let's say I like this button. I can go to edit. I can highlight the whole thing. I can command C to copy it. And then I can do insert drawing and command V here is a nice way to make buttons that look the same and then just save and close and another button will be there. So there's another, another way to do it also. If you want buttons to look the same, which you probably do in many cases, you can also just make the button the same but then decide that you just wanted to change the background color or something to something different. So another way to do it too is that, and again, especially if you want consistent formatting. So that's mostly how you run scripts. You can also run them from the editor. If you're in a script and you select it here and then click the run button, and this is more for debugging, which just means that you're trying to find an issue with the code. For the most part, you're going to want to run the scripts from here with some sort of button or with a menu up here. So next time I'll jump into how to make these menus, and then we'll start writing some scripts and recording some macros.